Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Morphin Grid. I am Josh. I'm Jake. And this week or episode, because it might not be the only one this week, because we, we're trying to step it up. This episode, we will be watching episode eight of the DVD set. Of oh, the DVD Who knows, set. When, when did it air? Do you know what order um, it was in? I think it aired probably around eight. Okay. Around uh, episode eight, probably of Power Rangers, uh, entitled "I I Guy," which is I like myself, comma, comma I as in what you see with <laughs> Guy, <laughs> uh, as in the fourteenth hey, September fourteenth, nineteen ninety three. I don't know if you said that. I didn't. Okay. Because I didn't know that you looked that up. Not me. Well, and I told you, and then you <laughs> forgot immediately. So we're gonna pause the recording. We are gonna watch the episode, and then we're gonna come back, and we're gonna talk about it. And we're going to see what happens from there, because I only think I remember the bad guy. And that's really all. I I remember a bad guy who from is later. an eye guy, but is not is this a guy eye guy. with eyes, but is <laughs> not necessarily eye guy, yeah. Uh, it's Marvin time! <laughs> And we're back. We just watched I, I, Guy. And it was definitely an episode of Power Rangers. <laughs> it wasn't a bad one. No, it wasn't. It was... there. There's a couple weird it's a, things. It's a middle-of-the-road um, episode yeah, of Power Rangers. There's some things I like. There's some things that I just... You know, the 90s, guys. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it was, was alright. Uh, before we start, though, our website is morphingrade.tumblr.com. You can email us. At littleidiots.morphingrid at gmail.com, and our Twitter is at morphingrid. And those are literally all the places the morphing grid is on the internet. The Tumblr barely counts because as Tumblr, of this recording, the Tumblr will it's... probably count a couple days after this comes out. I have Saturday <laughs> off, and I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna right. try to fix it. As of right now, the Tumblr, Tumblr, not Tumblr, because there's no e. No, it's just Tumblr, Tumblr. <laughs> uh, like a frog saying it, it exists it does so you can go to it <laughs> but it looks see, bad it, it's just a template it's literally empty i think right now like <laughs> i think it just says on the side it says the morphin grid yep and then that's it and then like an archive button but there's nothing in the archives so you can't <laughs> use it. okay so the plot of this episode is that or not the plot the, the we start out with Billy's little science buddy, Willie, who uh, looks like a railroad engineer. <laughs> Willie has invented a, a virtual reality roller coaster using <laughs> using the latest in Ray-Ban technology. Ray-Ban and the, the – I'm going to call it the console. <laughs> it's like a little fan. Made out of thing. Nerf. Yeah. With blinking lights on it so you know – it's technology. It's a Nerf. It, <laughs> it it looks like someone took the 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 fins off of a fan, off of like a Nerf fan, and then <laughs> right. just folded them down. And then it, added some light brights. Yeah, to it. So they so that it lights it's, up because it's technology. So they're wearing these sunglasses that are just have wires taped to them. <laughs> And it's apparently so real that Kimberly gets dizzy. She's going to throw up. She's going to puke all over the place <laughs> because of this virtual reality that Railroad Conductor Willie invented. <laughs> so they're walking in the park because they have to get to the science fair because this whole invention is just for the science fair. Right. That's the reason it exists. So they, they're in the park. And they're attacked by putties. Um, And they they do a weird thing where they, like, they have a formation, I guess. Well, here, you skipped Rita, who comes in and she's like, man, that Willy kid's smart. I want that. Right, yes, I did. So she's like, give me that. Give me a smart kid. (laughs) And send the putties. Right. Well, hey, it worked very well for them last time. The 
Yes, but in this episode, the putty sequence is just to eat time. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 literally she sends down five putties, which is a terrible idea because there's five rangers. Right. So, numbers aren't even on your side. Yeah, and the putties are garbage. You can't even play the darn numbers game. Like the shield, because <laughs> it's the same amount of you. Don't bring wrestling into this. It's a different audience. All right, sorry. <laughs> they they circle up around Willie. They protect Willie and his virtual reality machine, which apparently is just a roller coaster game. It is only a virtual reality roller coaster. And they, like Jason's, like form up. You know, circle formation. Circle formation. So, like, they do they practice? Do they have like <laughs> they are always hanging out with younger kids. If, so. if we're ever <laughs> escorting a dumb little kid, we should be able to. We should form up, and then so they just they there's some like John Woo slow motion, and like <laughs> repeating shots. Like Jason does a roundhouse kick at one point, and it it's like cha 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 cha. Right. Like he does it like three or four times. There's Kimberly doing like a back kick, and it's like in slow motion, and she's like, "Yeah." <laughs> the putties are just falling down in and, slow motion, and they just land in the fetal position, and then disappear. Well, they get back up, and then <laughs> these putties you have to knock down twice. Two Maybe times. that's why she only sent five. Right? She's thinking, "Well, <laughs> they'll knock them down once and be like, good enough.' Then we'll catch them off back. guard." Yeah. So maybe Rita's thinking, "She's not. She's not. She wasn't. She sent out putties." Right. <laughs> Goldar is there. Send down Goldar. I don't know. We're going to jump into our only segment. And as soon as we have another segment, this is going to get sad because I can't say my our only segment anymore. But it's, uh, it's what was Kimberly wearing this episode? She's wearing a floral dress with what I thought were knee pads. <laughs> but it wasn't knee pads. It was tights, I guess. Um, like those little biker, not biker shorts, but just like tights. knee length biker yeah, shorts. They were they were like regular tights, just really short, right. I think, because <laughs> it went down a little bit below her knees. But it was like this really the spandex capris, basically. <laughs> yeah, it was like this really big flowy dress. That concludes what was Kimberly wearing, because it, it's nothing super special. She has a headband on. She too. does have a headband. I'm not saying I don't like the giant floral dress. I'm just saying there's no Doc Martens, so what am I going to do? Like, She's not jean shorts and a half shirt oh, yet. Oh, lordy. <laughs> lordy, lordy. Um, also, a spinoff of what was Kimberly wearing. What was Trini wearing? Curtains. Trini was wearing Tr- curtains. <laughs> Trini's always wearing cur- <laughs> curtains or handkerchiefs. She's, they literally <laughs> look like... Not even like a 90s kitchen like curtains. Like bad 70s curtains. Like really old 70s curtains. Like her mom was like... Oh, there's a little rip at the bottom of these. I'll make Trini some. Uh, I'll make Trini a jacket and shorts. Then okay, we go back to Rita, who who is now talking to Finster. Now talking to Finster, who does have an onion head. You were right. I, I was like, is he an onion head? It's an onion head. So she's talking to Finster, and she's like, I need a monster that can steal his intelligence. For what purpose? Who cares? So, so she can have it. So she has a smart guy because she's basically telling her minions, "You're all too stupid. We need a we need a kid. <laughs> we need a smart kid." And this is when they do something that I don't know if we've talked about before. I don't I don't think we have, but it's one of my favorite things that Power Rangers does, and that's using Japanese footage that they couldn't use otherwise as backstory. Yeah, they're like, remember last time we had Eye Guy out? He took the right. He so took I guy, children. I guy isn't made in this episode. He's he exists. He exists. They like call him. Yeah, because like, he's just I hanging out. We got a smart kid, and he's like, "Oh, I'll be right over." That's my favorite. I love <laughs> smart kids. I'm gonna right. eat him. <laughs> I'm gonna Put eat him in my, my eyeball eye, with my eye. Also, this was not the eye guy that I was thinking of. Not the I, one that I, I was, was either. definitely thinking of. The Zed eye guy. This is not him. The one in in the trench coat. Yeah, the flasher. Yeah. The flasher. This one is pretty neat though, because like he's made of eyes. He's just a bunch of eyes connected with like barely anything. Because like when he's when he turns back, his eyes are all basically touching. Right. That had to be a very annoying suit to put on. I would imagine. Probably. We cut back down to the science fair, where now the science fair. Is cool. 
I would have liked to have seen more of the science fair. Yeah, because there were two really neat inventions. There was two really 90s things there was, going on. There was <laughs> virtual reality and a machine that can change your... It's a makeover machine. It, it turns you into a lady. It dresses you like a lady, but there's also that kid's spray gun that dissolves pants. Yes, I forgot about that. It's <laughs> denim... Uh, it's acid that eats itself after it's, it's done an, it's eating. It's full of anti-denim. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like antimatter, but only works on jeans. It ran wild in the 90s. Right. <laughs> they set up a little bit of the the virtual reality machine, Willie and Billy. Why'd you name him Willie? Guys... He's hanging out with Billy the whole time. <laughs> oh, it's not like it's Kimberly's friend, Willie. Or, or Jason's... No, it's, it's Billy's Jay- little buddy, Willie. Yeah. <laughs> it's stupid. It's, it's little- dumb. I don't... It, when I uh. name characters, because I'm sort of a writer, sort of, uh, <laughs> when I name characters, number one, I don't name anyone anything similar in the same thing. Right. Nobody... If I... In fact, I don't like to give anyone the same initials, first or last. So there's no one with... There's no, like, Aaron... And is there another A name? <laughs> Adam. Adam. There's no Aaron and Adam. That doesn't happen. <laughs> um, also, nobody's names rhyme. <laughs> and then, and this is nothing to do with Willie and Billy, but nobody's names end. Their first name does not end with the same letter that their their last name starts with. <laughs> That's a weird you thing. Yeah. It's well. It's not a just a me thing, but like it's because. The name will bleed together, and I don't like that. It's weird. Anyway, don't name Willie. Don't name Billy's friend Willie in the future. Next time Billy has a friend, they probably don't. This is probably the only instance that we get to see a Willie. <laughs> they throw him in the garbage with the, with uh, Maria <laughs> and Judy and Tyrone and whoever else wanders through. I don't know. <laughs> and oh, I forgot my favorite thing about Willie and Billy. They have a stupid handshake. They have a, a stupid secret <laughs> Complete handshake. Complete with clown noises. Yes. Uh, <laughs> that only works if you have overalls or suspenders on. Which so far, Billy has. Yes. Basically all the time. But what happens when he starts wearing pants? Him and Willie can't It doesn't matter because Willie Cause never comes back. Because Willie will be gone. Willie had to transfer schools because he's... Win science fair. Arrive, win science fair, leave. <laughs> leave. Uh, Bulk and Skull come in so the episode can finally start. This is really their first, like, major part in an episode. Yeah, besides the first episode. And the second where and they're... And the rope you know, climbing. It's their like, first major... They are... This is the first th- time Jason Narvey really shines. Yes. Uh, <laughs> first of all, Skull is not great at reading. No, he says Fort <laughs> <laughs> He pronounces the H as a separate entity, yeah, and I love that. That's great. And he also, <laughs> he's like, fair. This is a fair. Why are there any rides? <laughs> uh, I like that he doesn't under, he's never been to a science fair before. He's probably 17 and has never been to a science right. fair. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> also, because Bulk's like, this is a science fair, ew. And then, We're in a room full of nerds. And then Skull instinctively covers his mouth with his jacket. Right. Because <laughs> so he doesn't catch nerd. Nerditis. <laughs> Nerditis. <laughs> like, Let's leave. And then Bulk's like, no. Let's have some fun. <laughs> yeah. So Bulk's pants get sprayed with the anti-denim. Right, they, they walk over to the nerdiest kid in the room with his anti-denim spray gun. What? what which had that? like a... A one-eyed was, scope. Okay, was that the same kid? That like was that the yes. connection? Because I thought it was just a reaction shot of another dork in the no, room. No, because okay. Skull's like, give me that, and pulls the gun okay, out. Okay, I his missed hand. that part then. And he like does the spin ripcord spin out. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, he took my thing. Because like they cut back to him after he sprays the anti denim. Yeah. And I was like, why are they just showing this kid? Because like, it's his anti denim. Right, but then they showed, like. He invented anti denim and a holographic roller coaster <laughs> won the science fair. <laughs> uh, not to oh, mention. Spoilers. Oh, spoilers. Whoops. whoops. Yeah, spoiler. The good guys win. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry to ruin the plot of everything, but that's, that's probably how it's going to go down. They Yeah, they spray the pants. Boke and- poses. He's like, <laughs> got his hands on his hip. And he's, spray he's something. Obviously like, he's obviously posing to be sprayed, and he says, spray something, or spray someone. And then he gets sprayed, but he's like, not me! Not me! <laughs> Well, I mean, maybe if he would have sprayed his pants into gold, he would have been like, yeah. Yeah. With my gold pants but because now. it was bad. Yeah. And you got to see his undies with little bulks on little it. Little bulks on them. <laughs> Where can I get a pair of these underwear? <laughs> Ms. Bulkmeyer, I humbly request a <laughs> pair of these. I don't even wear boxers. I don't I either. I still want one. I still want a pair. Hang on the wall next to all my other Power Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> so then... Billy's like, it's time to put a stop to this. And so he takes the gun back from Skull? Is that... He just tells him to drop it, and Skull goes... <laughs> <laughs> that was me chewing gum, because like, you can't that's see a that. really gross noise. <laughs> but he... Because Skull's always chomping on gum so far. Yeah. But, like, he drops it really snarkily. <laughs> right. He, yeah, he does. Because he he's like... Ugh. And then... then uh, the... the Bolt calls Billy King Geek, and King Geek throws some shade back at him, and he's like, oh, you know, you have to have an IQ to get in. Right. Oh, he's, no, I remember what he said now, because <laughs> you took notes, and it jogged my memories. Uh, <laughs> he's like, Bolt, aren't you guys a little out of your element? Because an IQ is required. And then Bulk pulls up a fist, and he's like, this is all the IQ I need. And then Skull does the exact, the exact same, same thing, thing. Which is one of my favorite things. <laughs> so when Skull doesn't know what to do, he just does exactly what Bulk did. Right. Works pretty much every time. So then Jason and Zack step in. And there's a really nonviolent beatdown. Yeah. Um, because Skull punches Zack, and Zack just grabs his hand and then just starts messing with him. Right. He's just pulling it back and forth, like, you gonna hit me? You gonna, what are you gonna do? Right. You gonna hit me? <laughs> Jason, like, ducks under bulk and then ends up throwing him into Willie's stuff. They're, they're doing, like, the tug of war over Skull's fist, yeah. and then Zack lets him go, and he goes butt first into a recycle bin. Yes, and then he, <laughs> then, then. And he gets out, and now he's angry. Because before he was just like. Whatever. Right. Now he's mad. If I could do Skull's laugh, I would, but it would just be awful. <laughs> so, yeah, let's not ruin it. Let's just leave by it By making it bad. We're still at the science fair. So They're still a, fighting both yeah, no, I Okay. <laughs> I don't... I must have looked down to take a note, uh, because I don't remember how Bulk got on the ground, because... Oh, he... Jason He's still just fighting him. with Jason, and Jason, like, dodges, and Bulk's momentum carries him over to Billy, who back body drops him. <laughs> right. Onto a bubble-wrapped cardboard box. <laughs> and then the skull is later thrown onto Bulk, like, yes. two seconds later. And this is all on, like, a cart, like a big, flat uh, cart thing. Yes. Because Billy just spins him around, he's like, let's, uh, let's get rid of the trash, or whatever. Right. And then this is when... Kimberly and Trini are like, oh, over here, guys. And they open up this, like, makeover machine. It's the fashion machine but also, is what it says in big blinking big lights. glitter letters. <laughs> so it's a it's a makeover slash parade starter because confetti just shoots out of it like nothing. <laughs> but anyway, the, the owner of this fashion machine is this babe <laughs> who is just sneering. Like, oh, like, she hates Bulk and Skull. Clearly. And and she's friends with Kimberly and Trini. Who is she? Where Doesn't did, matter. Where did you go, sneering babe? <laughs> where, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> That's just, I want to know. I'm gonna, I, I don't know what happened there. Missed opportunity. <laughs> she's just an extra. I know, but she was pretty. Whatever. <laughs> so, they, so Billy pushes... Bulk and Skull into the makeover machine, and then uh, pants and confetti. All of their clothes and fly off out of the top. Yes, of it. including Bulk's uh, Bulk boxers. Yes, <laughs> and then they come out dressed like women yep. because this machine <laughs> can tell what your size is, and like it. Basically, this is a three D scanning machine. <laughs> That then creates clothing specifically to fit you. Yep. 
and gives you a wig <laughs> and does your makeup. It put tights on them. That's a little invasive. Like that's a, that's, that's just all up in their business. I think but you're then, taking the fashion machine a little look a little too seriously. This science fair. If Wiley e. Coyote can paint a hole in a wall and the Roadrunner can run through it, here's the difference. This machine can turn Bulk and Skull into women. They didn't turn them into women. It just dressed I them mean, up. Like, dress them like. Here's women. the difference. <laughs> Wiley e. Coyote is a cartoon. So is Power Rangers. We talked about this. Power Rangers at least <laughs> isn't drawn though. Like <laughs> you gotta give me a little bit. Like, I'm not. I'm not complaining about it. I'm not saying this was dumb. I'm just saying like, let's look at the mechanics behind okay, this right, machine right. <laughs> that this sneering babe invented. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't have a name? So I'm just gonna call her the sneering babe. <laughs> Okay, and then this is the worst part of the episode. This is when the dumbest thing that ever could happen happens. Then the professor of the science fair. Oh, right. I want to say, notice whose name we haven't used during this whole sequence, except for the one time when someone fell on his stuff. Willie. Was Willie. Willie was basically not involved with any of this. (laughs) There are dozens of other people here. Uh, including the guy who invented anti-denim and the sneering babe, who were both a part of this huge ruckus that happened. Yes. Uh, that Bulk and Skull started. So who gets disqualified from the science fair? Willie! Willie! He walks right up to Willie, past everything else, and goes, Willie, you can't disrupt things. I'm a jerk. You're disqualified. I apologize for my neighbors, you guys. We're going to try and find a more professional place to record soon. I don't yeah. know where that's going to be, but... We'll, try we'll to... do it in the car. It's quieter outside. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we'll figure something out. Okay, so... Yeah, Willie's disqualified. For plot convenience? That's the only logical... From a TV show standpoint, logical right. explanation. If... But if they're in a reality... Billy wanted to sock that guy. Yeah, Billy was legit mad. Because <laughs> even Billy's like, hey, it wasn't his fault. He didn't do anything. He didn't even start it. Our decision is final. I hate trains. So <laughs> <laughs> You look stupid. I hate your hat. Okay, so this, okay, the weird thing that happens is that Billy says, I'm going to go after him. And then Zach's like, yeah, count me in. And Jason's like, me too. And then Trini and Kimberly are like, yeah, we'll meet up with you later. I thought it was just because they weren't in the footage that's right a, away. That's exactly what I thought. But they they meet up in the next scene. Yeah, because <laughs> Billy gets or Willie gets taken by Eye Guy, who when he's out in the wild is just a floating eye. Well, the rest of his he, eyes. That's are, his main eye. Yeah, his big is one big eye. Where he can separate that from his body of eyes. Yeah, I don't know where they go when he's not. They together, go to Angel Grove Park. No, I mean the eyes. Like, do they just are they just still well, there? Well, they're fighting the ranger. That's later. The ranger, right? I don't know. Maybe they're just <laughs> chilling in Rita's palace. <laughs> they're just watching TV. Club Bandora. It's a big club. It's only got the one, the two rooms that we've seen. Right. <laughs> later, they'll add a third, but like, it's still a big place. Yeah. So. They find Willie's hat because Willie's been sucked into this gyroscope dimension where I guess he just spins around until all of his smarts, his are, smarts st- come out. are stuck in Eye Guy's big <laughs> eye or something. So they <laughs> – I don't know. It's a, it's a weird thing. But Willie is like, who are you? It's this giant floating eyeball. Yeah. Hey, kid, it's a monster. Get well, out the, of there. In the flashback earlier, this little girl finds this eye floating in the woods. And then, it's like, and, like examines ma- yeah. it with a pen and then pokes it with a stick. And then gets taken. And like then she gets should've. taken. She'll and show presumably up. is dead. She'll show up again, though. Will she? She does. She must be an important character in... In... Juranger. Juranger. <laughs> Juranger. <laughs> we gotta watch more of that. We're only like four, I guess we should. We're only I don't like know if we gotta, of, but <laughs> I want to. And you I do too, because none of the Monster of the Week stuff has happened yet, and we're like five episodes in. Yeah. Anyway, before they find Willie's hat laying on the beach, the his, beach of beach of a lucky lake, cap, his lucky cap, right? Where didn't it's always not very lucky. He got DQ'd, he got taken. He got DQ'd and taken by Eye Guy <laughs> wearing that cap. That's his unlucky cap. It's the worst cap. His train engineers, you know. 
have terrible luck, I guess. So Jason and Zach and Billy are like, Willie! Willie! And right before Willie finds the hat, there's one really Billy. violent... Right before Billy finds <laughs> Willie's hat. This is why you shouldn't name the characters <laughs> almost literally the exact same thing. Tony Oliver. Or Shooky Levi, or whoever wrote this. thought it was Levy. I thought it was Shooky Levy. Maybe it's Levy. My, I have a friend named Levi, and his name is spelt the same way, so... I thought it was spelled with a Y. This this one, not your friend. Maybe. I don't know. Shooky? We're just going to call you Shooky. Shook. Sh- shooks. <laughs> but, like, there's one really violent... Willie! <laughs> from Jason. <laughs> <laughs> like... Like, you better get out of here! Like, it's in the middle, and, like, it's right before Willie finds it, and Jason just is, like, he's had it. They've been searching for almost four seconds, and he's just, like, can't deal with it. I mean, presumably it's been... Four seconds on camera, because they got all the way to Angel Grove Park. Well, it wasn't Angel Grove Park. It was, like, this forest of birch trees in California. Uh, Was it? I didn't think it was that dense. I thought it was just a couple trees. It wasn't in the park. super dense, but it was it, it was not a couple trees. It was like one it was they were sort of uniform. It was like every four feet there's a tree. Oh, I like my Animal Crossing town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then they go to they go to Zordon. The girls meet up with them immediately. They just didn't want to look for Willie too right. hard. No. You know? They had to they wanted to try out the fashion machine. They didn't change clothes, but maybe they did, and they changed back. Right, because it turned them into... <laughs> dressed them the same way as Bulk and Skull, and they were like, I don't want to look like an old lady. <laughs> That's why that machine didn't win the science fair. It dresses <laughs> you like an old lady. <laughs> oh, no, well, it's sort of incredible what it does, but... but it's I mean, an old lady dress. I don't it's know. It's no virtual reality roller coaster. Which... Has been disqualified. Has been disqualified, so like... Did would Denim Kid have won? Would anti Denim? He should have won anyway. Uh, yes, that's a scientific breakthrough. If there ever was, it one. could just destroy matter. Yeah, you just spray. It that. didn't make them invisible. They were just gone. Gone. You just spray that in a dump. Boom. No more dump. Only if it's made of denim. And we just and we just saw it's a, a denim, denim dump. Maybe it just <laughs> it just destroys the first thing that it touches. <laughs> So it's a good thing I didn't hit Bulk's face or anything. Right. <laughs> just have a whole... <laughs> okay, they're in the command center, and they're like, I guy has the power to turn into eyes, and he's got one big eye, but there's a bunch of other eyes. <laughs> you gotta fight him. And then, I don't remember who it was, but I feel like it was Billy that said this, because only the smart guy can say something this stupid. <laughs> How do we beat him? How do we stop him? <laughs> It was probably Billy. I don't really, re- I don't remember. Well, because they're asking, they're like, "How do we get Willie out of there?" But they're like, "How do we stop him? Poke him in the eye." It's like, "Oh, have you ever played Zelda?" <laughs> yeah, he has a giant glowing red eye. Hit him in the big eye. It's the one <laughs> rule of any monster. You just hit him in the big eye, and then, hey, congratulations, you beat him because <laughs> you hit his weak spot. It literally turns red later. Yeah. Uh, so then they they morph. And teleport to where I Guy and Babu are in the desert. Because <laughs> stock footage, you gotta just roll with it. Well, not stock footage, but the footage well, match, you know, yeah. Their stock Their footage. footage, yeah. So, this is another great Babu moment. I like Where he's this. just like, you get him! <laughs> and then leaves. <laughs> like, Ooh, the Power Rangers! They're all yours! <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> so there's a really quick fight scene. Like, they, they have their power weapons... And they just they hit him, and it doesn't exactly well, they, work. They like fight him for a minute, yeah, yeah. and then he he shoots f- a five direction laser. And they're like, "Let's put them together." So they put them together. They had the power cannon. They shoot him. Super quick fight scene. Or is it plot twist? His eyes come back together. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a good monster because he faked you out, right? You know, like, and then he you did, can't beat him. You just knock him into pieces for a second. Yeah. So then. We find out that Oh, his, we should also mention that his main eye... Is not here. Is, this is, it's closed. Yeah. Because it's not there. The lid shut because it's just they a shut hole. It, yes. In it. Because it's, it's <laughs> out in the other woods. It's in the woods just south of them in the park. That's what Zordon told Billy. <laughs> yeah, so Billy runs. And this is when I wrote down, oh man, it's a Billy it's, episode because it's probably a Dan episode. Right. Because Dan is the, Dan. the, the Z, Z Ranger. I thought it was funny because... <laughs> Because Billy, like, jumps up after Zordon tells him, you got to go get the main eye down in the woods here. 
Billy jumps up. He's like, you're going to get it. And then turns and runs away. <laughs> he's going to find his eye. <laughs> and then uh, this is when the girl who had the magnifying glass that poked him with a stick comes in from the backstory. Oh. <laughs> because she is just crumpled in a ball in the woods. <laughs> You oh. only see her for like a split second, but there she is, right. just laying down in the woods. Oh, I want let's go back for a second to where I guy steals Willie. Okay. Um, because it was a really good editing between the Japanese eye footage, and then like as he zapped toward Willie, it was slow enough that they could cut it right before it got to Willie, so they didn't have to match an actor. Did it, yeah. Yeah, that I was. I just wanted to point that. That out. was that was pretty good. And there's also a lot of cool camera angles in the fight where they're like, yeah, like you, they're like, there's a shot of Kimberly through the reflection of Billy's visor, and like you can see things through Eye Guy's eye, but also as a reflection in his eye. Right. There's a lot of cool camera tricks because cameras are just eyes that record things onto film. Right. And so like I guess they use that. Um, I was also thinking during this episode like there's a lot of neat like Power Rangers is really cool because it's. It's Americans trying to figure out how to make these monsters work. Right. Like, the monsters are all Japanese, and they've had a lot more time to be weird. Yes. So, like, they have, like, because if this was all American, like, Rita would just be a witch, you know? Like, it would right. be totally yeah. different than, it you It would know. be. But, like, she's, like, a space witch who lives in a club on the moon, and, like, I know it's not a club in this version, but in the other one it is, and, like... Right, she lives on a palace on the yeah. moon. And so in a like, palace on the moon. Well, she lives on it, on the floors, there's all of her stuff. But the floors yeah. are in it. I know, right, that's semantics, anyway. And the- <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I just, I just, I just kind of realized that this episode. I was like, this is really neat, because it's so weird. Because we have to, like, deal with all, like, the reason right. it's and so like, cool is that, like, it's such a for... The monsters feel alien and monster-like, because they're, they're weird monsters that... Japanese people thought of yeah instead of Americans because so if we did it would just be foreign yeah so like if we because if we thought of them it would be like oh you gotta fight the Jersey Devil and uh, here's a <laughs> werewolf and you know it'd be boring things so it would just it would you know but it's not or it'd be like it's a grey alien now it's a green alien <laughs> now you gotta fight this red alien oh you know but instead we get cool Japanese monsters to fight right I think that's a like lot a guy of, made out of eyes made out of eyes <laughs> Named Eye Guy, named of all I things. Guy. So Billy is in the woods. He found the eye. He stabs it with the lance. And then we immediately jump up to Rita. Or no, no, we don't jump up to Rita because it, it blows up the Eye Guy. When you stab his eye, it blows up the body. Yes. And then we go up to Rita and she goes, I've had it for these Power Rangers, with these Power Rangers once and for all. No, it's not no, once and for all, Rita. She even knows that. You know, you said it, but you didn't mean it. <laughs> So then, I don't have any more notes because it's just a fight scene with Eye Guy. <laughs> it's just it's just a Megazord. It's a Megazord. Oh, there's the kaiju big battle fight scene. <laughs> there's the split screen of them forming the Megazord with like each different step in it, and then that cuts away and shows each step <laughs> individually afterwards. <laughs> yes, that is true. Also, there's a part where Eye Guy shoots the, his fire laser bolt. Um, at it that at every them. Rita monster has right, but this time <laughs> it hits the tank and like the tank is like on fire and stuff, and then it immediately cuts to them making the Megazord. So like the Zero Ranger episode probably has a lot more stuff in it. It's probably a two parter. <laughs> I feel like they're all two parters. Where did half of the monsters come from then? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to find out. We'll have to actually just watch it and find out. Uh, they kill Eye Guy. The day is saved thanks to the Powerpuff Rangers. <laughs> Willie is shot out of the eye, lands in the park, where the Power Rangers jump out to, like, be like, hey, you're safe. We got you. And Trini is feminine. The Yellow Ranger is... Right, because this is American Because it's the American footage, footage, because Willie's in it. But, like, they used... Before, I feel like they used, like, a more masculine body double. I don't... When they... They were all in the command center. I've never noticed that. I feel like it was a little... Because every time I think of it, it's bulky man Trini in the Japanese footage and this tiny little Asian tiny girl little Asian. in all the American yeah. footage with, like, the waist just loses two-thirds of itself. Yeah, but, like, this one was, like, it was, <laughs> you know, it might have been Tui Trang under there. They, I feel like they did that in the American footage. It's actually them in there. I think so. I know, 
uh, Jason David Frank is the only person to do a fight scene in the only actor to do a fight scene in in their ranger in suit. In the ranger suit. It's the the Goldar fight and the Green Candle. That's cool. That's actually Jason David Frank, and I think that's the only time that happens. That's pretty cool. But it might be them, but it's definitely like looks it. It's definitely a right. different Trini than the last time we saw her in the suit in the American <laughs> footage where it was like taller than Billy. Right. And uh, <laughs> it was just a dude. Oh, we just started watching Megaforce too, and I want to – while we're talking about the differences between morphed and unmorphed, I don't know if Gia <laughs> – I'm going way off track. Just whatever. Bear with me. Okay. I don't know if Gia wears heels when she's unmorphed, but when she's morphed, I feel like she loses a good six inches. Yeah. I mean, well, number one, it's not the American actress or the New Zealish <laughs> uh, actress. But even in – because you can tell when the Japanese footage is still a, a slight quality difference. Like, it's still enough difference you can see it. Yeah. And I feel like in the American footage, she's still... Like, well, the morphed not, one wants to match the Japanese footage. Yeah, it's not actually a quality difference. It's a uh, format difference. It's on film still. No, no. it's no? There's this digital. It's just the, like the, the television broadcast format. Over in Japan is different than ours. Okay, so quality is the wrong word. So it looks it different. It looks different because, like, if you watch, like, British shows before the advent of HD, because, like, now it's, like, barely noticeable, but, like, if you watch, like, Doctor Who during David Tennant's run, or, um, are you still on Eccles Syndrome? We're still on yeah. Eccles Syndrome, yeah. Like, you can tell that it looks weird. Right. Like, because yeah. there's, there's an extra frame every second. Because eh. they, they do 25 frames a second, we do 24. <laughs> There's your film lessons for this week. <laughs> you, you'll get one basically You're welcome, every everybody. week. And now you know the name of Megaforce Yellow if you didn't already. Yeah, Megaforce is pretty cool. We're pretty it's, into it. Four-fifths of it is really good. Yeah, the, the Red <laughs> Ranger is a terrible actor. He's trying to use it as a platform for a modeling career. <laughs> I think he was, Someone should tell him that Power Rangers probably is. I think what happened that. is that he auditioned because he is a model. Right. <laughs> but is also a karate guy. And that's why they picked him. Probably. Because he definitely does karate well. Yeah. Uh, but he's just, his acting is really wooden. <laughs> he also is the weakest character. Whatever, we're not, this not, isn't Megaforce. This isn't Megaforce. I just want to get, we'll get we're not going to get to Megaforce for another two years. <laughs> I just want to talk about it. <laughs> that's if we do. Because it's what I'm watching right now. <laughs> that's if we do one every single day. It's another fourteen years if we do, if we one, do one a week. We're gonna. I'm gonna. I want to shoot for three a week, but our work schedules have been so hectic lately. That yeah, I mean, we'll see what we can do. Yeah. But anyway, back to I I guy. I just derailed me so hard. Okay, there. I did. Everyone. Yeah. Did everything. No, it's fine. <laughs> they're they're like, yeah, you did it, Willie. You're not dead. And then it cuts to them going back into the science fair which why is Willie there he's been disqualified That's, that kid is a I glutton like for punishment they talked him into it they were like look I, presumably your other friends are there the friends who are your age and aren't grown <laughs> men and women <laughs> right. who aren't dads are, <laughs> <laughs> let, go support your friends don't be a jerk right and he was like yeah you're right so they go there and he's they want he, they, they all walk in and this is when Willie says the dumbest thing. It's just, it's so dumb. He goes, I can't believe the Power Rangers saved me. <laughs> Who else was going to save you from this monster, Willie? <laughs> Have you seen anyone else in the world fighting monsters? No, it's just the Power he's Rangers. Just, if the, he's a, he's if a little kid and he's really excited, if, like... If the Power Rangers saved you from a giant monster, you would be like, I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, but I, I think it was more along the lines of, I can't believe that happened Yeah, but to what me. he said was, I can't believe the Power Rangers saved me. Because like, he can't believe he was in a position for the Power Rangers uh, to save I him. I don't, I'm, I'm gonna, we're going <laughs> to agree to disagree on he this one. He can't believe that that happened to him. <laughs> I think he's just an idiot. I think you're right, <laughs> but I want to defend it. Because he's like... <laughs> Because number one, let's let's just break the sentence down. Let's diagram it. I can't believe the Power Rangers saved me. Either A, this means that he can't believe that the Power Rangers stopped the monster like they've done at least eight – at least seven other times at this point. Right. So, so like when you see a monster, you know that the Power Rangers stop it and literally no one else. Huh. Or I can't believe the Power Rangers saved me means I can't believe they actually stopped this monster. 
Like, <laughs> like were they, were they just gonna let it rampage and just eat your brains or shake maybe, out your maybe smarts? He thought I guy was good, was it? Maybe, maybe he thought, he thought that, was, that was the end for him. That That's why we was. never see him again. He's traumatized. So he wins the v, the the science fair and he takes all that science fair money and sells it to the government and leaves. <laughs> and he's in witness protection because he's <laughs> he's so terrified. <laughs> Or just they never he's want. Still it. wicked smart. Yeah. So why Rita? But Rita doesn't want him anymore. Well, it didn't work once. Forget it. She was like taking his intelligence. This is dumb anyway. What was I gonna do? Compounded with, it? with the what the next episode is, it's a really big shift. Like I don't know what the next. It's uh, for whom the bell trolls. Oh. Uh, so it's <laughs> so this is how it goes. Let's get this kid's really smart. Let's steal his brains. Oh, that didn't work. Let's make Trini's doll a monster. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big shift, Rita. That That's episode a, will be fun. I like it. I feel like I groan only because of the monster's name. Like I feel like <laughs> the episode Tickle is fine. This is the because it's, it's one theater. of the ones I remember from before. Yeah. Uh, then uh, Professor Jerk Bag has <laughs> uh, had a plot related change of heart. Him and they walk back into the science fair, and him and Ernie. Him and Ernie. Are, Maybe Ernie was like, "Why did you? Hey, just er, <laughs> just look at it, all right?" And he's like, "What happened right. is the, you know, Doctor Jerkwad was <laughs> was really grumpy because he hadn't had his coffee yet, and like, right? It's like that time I almost quit because I needed a soda. Right. So <laughs> so Ernie made him a caffeinated smoothie, and it was like. You're going a little hard on a kid who almost got his thing destroyed right. <laughs> and had nothing to do with anything that happened. You're a you? giant jerk. And he was like, I just don't like trains or suspenders. You're right. You're right. Just... And then, then he, he's on the roller coaster and they're having the time of their life. So Willie wins. And then, you know, Bulk and Skull come back in because you have to wrap them up. They can't just leave in women's clothing. They could. They could have. <laughs> and then it would have been great the next episode they come back. It takes place like just later that day, and they're like, seriously. But they, they wrap it up this episode, and it's – they come in in towels. Um, like jailbird, black and white pinstripe towels. Yeah, and they – like Skull has his on like a toga. Well, it's just draped over his shoulder. It's not like tucked in or anything. Uh, bulks is like a cape around him. <laughs> uh, and then – and they're like, all right, guys, you've had your fun. We want our clothes back, <laughs> and like, but like Skull tries to be manly. He's like, "Yeah, you know, we had, we had, we had your fun." Like, he's like, <laughs> right. trying to be like gruffer about it. He's like, "Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, yeah." Just give us back our clothes, our nerds. Clothes. <laughs> and then, uh, and then Trini and Kimberly are like, "Oh, we washed him and dressed him and all that." And they got these like crappy <laughs> grins on. They go get their clothes, but they shrunk them in the makeover machine. Now they're tiny little baby clothes. <laughs> Little tiny baby bulk boxers. <laughs> and then we laugh at Bulk and Skull and end the episode like we do basically every week. <laughs> we just be mean to two people we don't like. They were very mean to them. I don't remember exactly what they said, but before the fight scene, Zach and Jason were just straight up bullying them. Well, I mean, to be fair, they did, like, come in causing trouble. Yes. You know, and they were being jerks. Which I I like that they were jerks back because it's like kids if you're just if you're just a wuss you're gonna get right just just stand up to the bully and they'll realistically stop. we can't tell you to just you know use your words because that doesn't work in real life right like <laughs> Power Rangers might have been onto something on that in that regard <laughs> so that's the episode that's I I guy yeah it's that's it, that's there, it. Well, there's nothing else to say about it. <laughs> There are some moments that are funny. There are some moments where there's a lot of cool production stuff. It's an episode of Power Rangers. Yep. Um, Alright, so that's been podcast. That's been podcast. Uh, tune in uh, next time. We'll talk about who the bell trolls. For whom the bell trolls. For whom the bell trolls. <laughs> Metallica was doing it. Metallica's not doing it. I know. So in the meantime, <laughs> you can email us. It's DonMorphinGrid at gmail.com. You can talk to us on Twitter at MorphinGrid. Or you can go to our currently blank, hopefully not blank forever, Tumblr, I... MorphinGrid.tumblr.com. Until next time, I've been Jake. I'm Josh. And may the power protect you.
Dude, you do it. Let's... No, because I do can't it. now. Do it better. I do can't. it better. I can't. Hey, we'll just chicken. use that. You chicken? We'll just use yours. You're afraid. You're afraid to do it better because you can't. It's morphin' time.